Hi, so our project is ACID, which stands for Analyzing Census and Imaging Data, and it also stands for the first letter of all of our names, and we are... I'm Alex. I'm Catherine. I'm Hina. I'm Derek. And so the general idea of our presentation um, is we want to use newer deep learning models and higher quality satellite image data in order to improve population prediction and forecasting in various regions around the world. So first of all, our uh, goal is to automatically monitor and forecast population trends in areas given these satellite images all over the place. And so currently in the status quo, there isn't that much done on this problem and there aren't enough manual resources for manually counting the population, especially within developing countries and governments for frequent updates on population. So our solution is deep learning and satellite images. And so here's a quick graphic on the amount of satellite images being covered daily. And so what we see is that near daily images in many regions all over the world world are available due to this improved satellite technology. And so this is the amount of images in a day over time. And this uh, trend kind of looks like population trends where it's growing exponentially. And so we need exponential data to solve this exponential problem. And this allows for plenty of training data for us to make our model good. And in the future, more frequent monitoring of populations using the satellite data. And so the two main types of data that we're going to need are satellite images, where you can see on the left and the center, and also labels of populations. Um, we're mostly looking at Landsat data, which is free open source. We also have data from a few other sources that are higher quality, like from Planet. And our labels we're taking from Eurostat, where we have a lot of different countries we can work with and decades and decades of years that we can work with. And um, our methods are inspired from past research done primarily on American and Ugandan population predictions. And we want to improve on this research by like first using a lot more data and focusing more on regression to predict the population instead of only classification. And then here are a few models that we plan to use with VGNet on the uh, left and DenseNet on the right. And um, we also want to try to try different models, just throw them at this problem, provide enough data, and see where we get from there. And I think this like this task is more difficult um, bec than the previous ones because that has been done before, and we're focusing more on uh, classifying the whole world population with a uh, reg regression instead of just classification. And we're going to try to use convolutional uh, long short-term memories as well as um, uh, just some like as well as uh, time series and predicting from previous data to future data. And that is all. The biggest problems that we're going to face are, you know, groups expand, or countries expanding upwards versus expanding outwards. Um, you know, a lot of countries, especially if they're rapidly urbanizing, will, you know, be developing larger skyscrapers, whereas you might not see the population within that. So it's certainly something that we're going to be facing, and we have uh, a lot of uh, possibilities that we can go forth with. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.